The Hindu religion is the oldest religion in the world. There are over 650 million Hindus in the world today. There must be 200 monasteries like this one. Each one has its function. Our particular job is to bring Hindu religion into modern English, make it acceptable for the Western educated person to understand and to apply to his daily life. In order to do this, we use the best technology that we can. And the best technology that we found is the Apple computer because it's so easy to use. In some ways, it may seem an anomaly that the oldest religion in the world is now using the newest technology, things on the frontier of, of human ability. But to us, it's the most natural thing that could be. One of the main things we do at this monastery is publish this newspaper, Hinduism Today. People call this the voice of Hinduism. It's well received all around the world and it's produced entirely on the Macintosh. It serves as a way of bringing the dispersed Hindu community around the world together. Knowing how the forces of the universe are working at any given moment is the value of astrology. Previously, there was only a handful of people that knew how to do it and had the knowledge in their head or in their library. Now that library is right here in the computer. The masses now can understand astrology. They don't have to go to an astrologer in India to have their chart done. They can just whip it up on the screen and there it is. Through history, monasteries have always had some kind of agricultural endeavor to maintain their self-sufficiency and our monastery here in Hawaii has honeybees. We have 3,000 colonies, which we've developed in the course of less than a decade, which is very unusual. It usually takes several generations to do that. And the Macintosh has really been instrumental in enabling us to handle the information, the financing, to make that leap from having no agricultural endowment to having a full-blown agricultural endowment. We're not uh, becoming better computer experts. We're becoming better beekeepers and better monks. In our editorial in Hinduism Today a couple of months back, we urged all the Hindus in the world to buy the Macintosh. And we created an acronym, D-H-A-R-M-A, -A, which if you spell it out is the word Dharma. Dharma means many things in Hinduism. Uh, but it's like the eternal path. It includes good conduct and the cosmic way, if you will. So our acronym is Drive Hinduism Ahead Through Requiring Macintosh Acquisition, D-H-A-R-M-A. -A. Meaning that if we, as a family of Hindus, can network ourselves a little better through a common medium, the Macintosh, then Dharma itself will be promoted goodness in the world will be promoted. We're creating enlightenment tools to enlighten the world. So if you say that you empower the individual, which you do, we say, what greater empowerment than to take that tool and help enlighten the world?
flying one. How many Macs are you making? In Europe, we've been shipping more than 20,000 products per week. Who's buying them? People. Classic 2! I got a power book! Do I need a computer? Seems like too much hard work to me. As soon as you've got the hold of the mouse and everything and you draw down menus, everything is brilliant. It's so easy. Can you be more specific? Students, entrepreneurs, teachers, dentists, lawyers, artists. Si le das un beso a una niña y se sonríe y te vuelve a dar un beso todavía más fuerte, me doy cuenta que eso está muy bien hecho. Pero si me lo preguntas por mi trabajo, nunca lo sabes. De hecho, tienes la impresión de estar continuamente haciendo graves errores. Yo creo que los ordenadores están muy bien que sean máquinas frías y de hecho a mí nunca me ha gustado tocar con el dedo. Me parece que una buena herramienta es el mouse. Macintosh is really good because it's like a pencil, it's very close to you. Utilizar un Macintosh o no utilizarlo es como plantearse hoy en día que en tu casa no pones luz eléctrica y te gusta más ir con vela. Bueno, eh... El proceso de trabajo de, del Macintosh es mucho más visual y sobre todo más lógico, como más, más juvenil, más, no, no sé, más cercano tuyo, te toca más. Está hecho por alguien que realmente sabe lo que es tener alma y cariño, que es importante. Anything that we ever get involved with, software, systems, whatever it is, it has to be measured by best ease of use. We are interested in 
taking technology which may be sophisticated, intimidating, uh, unapproachable, and make it appealing to the user. The idea that you could empower individuals with tools that leverage very advanced technologies, but make it accessible to normal people. I'm going to go into a shop, find out what kind of computer I need, buy it, and learn to use it. And use it. What do people do with them? They work, organize, create, inspire. And what else? Categorize, play, have fun. And you call that computing? Yes. What is it about the word computer that scares people, do you think? People that just know typewriters say. The truth is, is that most of the things that people do on computers today isn't uh, really adding numbers together. Uh, they're generally dealing at, with things at the level of ideas. They're relating ideas in different ways. Even when people use a spreadsheet, the important thing about the spreadsheet is the model. All of the tedious stuff, which they didn't like to do in school, is done for you by the computer. The important thing is this idea that you've created a structure that is a thought amplifier. So it's one of these things that, like a musical instrument, takes something that we're doing inside of ourselves and expands the possibilities. Here we are. I'm looking for um, an Apple or a, a Macintosh. Which is it? Oh, well, Macintosh is a whole series of computers, all built by Apple Computer. Right. So there's a lot of them? Yes. Can we take it from the beginning? This is the Macintosh Classic, which is the entry-level Macintosh, which is ideal for domestic use for word processing and personal accounting. Click, drag down. Up here? Yeah. Click, That's... hold down, drag down, and paste, release. Here we are. That's very easy? simple. In what kind of places do you find the Classic? Homes, schools, factories, smaller businesses like bakeries. Macintosh, Classic, Tosh. But the Classic 2 is the same as the Classic, but more powerful, faster. This is the Macintosh LC, which is modular, which means you have a range of screens to choose from. Oh, I see, yeah. The LC is our most affordable, most popular color Macintosh. This is the Macintosh PowerBook 100, the 140, and the 170. And you'll notice they have the unique Apple palm rest. Oh, I really like the look of these. And they're so light. What can people do with the power book? Well, write, sell, learn, teach, play, communicate. Whatever they do, they can now do it wherever they go. What if you want to do complicated things? Well, then we have the IM Macintosh, like the Quadra. So who uses those? Designers, publishers, scientists, engineers, professors, and 2,823 people at Cambridge University. As I understand it, all Macintoshes do exactly the same thing. Only I decide how much money I want to spend, how powerful the computer should be, uh, how big the screen, whether I want color or monochrome. What is monochrome? Oh, black and white. I want color. Because for me it's normal. Los colores forman parte de mi vida, justo por eso uso Macintosh.